Hello and welcome to Animals Labs. Today I thought we'd come on and try a champion that I recently got that everyone will get through fragments, so I thought it'd be a good use to you. Um, I thought we'd look at her, go for a gearing process of her, of what I think she would be good with, and then who to add her with and, and why. So, um, obviously to begin with, she has a 50% chance of weaken and increases to 70 if they're under a hex debuff it's one enemy it's just a simple effect actually not too bad um for an a1 you've got places increased crit rate on herself which is nice which means we don't need to equip it up to 100 percent crit rate we can stay at 70 percent crit rate um especially when we put this on and it has a 75 percent chance it attacks all enemies which is important a 75 percent chance books to 100 uh, to block active skills debuff for two turns if they're under hex what's strong about this is you can combine it with a couple of other champions and you basically lock out their active skills so it's like a provoke but you're not the target which is quite nice and you know it prevents even those um from doing their big like ultimate effects a3s etc uh, and it is a hundred percent chance it's based entirely upon accuracy it's on a three turn cooldown, so this can always be up. Uh, Sky Punishment places 50% increased accuracy on this champion for two turns, which is nice, and attacks all enemies again. It uh, has a 75% chance of placing Hex debuff for three turns, so she can put Hex on everyone at 100%, which is cool, and has a 100% chance of placing Fear debuff for one turn instead of enemies under Hex. With. Um, Counterattacks with a default score every time this loses 8% HP or more. Always counterattacks if two allies more enemies are dead. Um, which is quite interesting. So you can set it up so that she can always use this, like farming versus uh, some like as a campaign farmer because she's got two AoEs and she will counterattack every time, which is quite interesting, I thought. And um, when I looked at her base stats, obviously she's got really high attack, which is nice. She's got quite good speed and then you know basic things here. So um I thought I'd put the, the first few pieces on that are standard for every DPS champion and then I'd go through what sets I think are good and then we'll look about gearing her. So obviously you want an accuracy banner, speed is always your main stat you're looking for. Um I don't have a lot of options in this particular faction unfortunately this time. Um but I thought I'd try that we got this one. And then we go for quick damage. You want accuracy and resistance primarily as much accuracy as you can get in your build and then um sometimes i obviously go you want to go for getting your hp high up in order to be able to, be able to not have to have a hp percent chest which is what we're going to try and do here and i thought this is one of the ways we can do it i don't actually have an attack ring so i have the option of using hp rings and i got this nice one recently which is a five percent chance to counter attack Probably isn't ever going to have an effect, but we thought we'd do it. And it has, as you can see, the three main stats that you want. Attack percentage, defense percentage, HP percentage on a legendary ring. So you always want those three, and I managed to get attack. Unfortunately, it rolled pretty meh, but we will take it. But it's kept my health up to 25,000. Being 35,000 is about where we want it with our tanks. I'm wondering if I can get some HP percentage rolls in places where we can use that to boost her and make her um not need a hp chest but we'll see as for sets that we want for her, to go for her now she's a dps champion right so you want to go for like crit damage savage if you can um i guess like crawl if you haven't got it or swift parry maybe fatal stuff like that um i thought about using these masters but i'm actually going to change them because i think what you want to do is go for how um thumb smasher right so um because obviously she's going to be doing a lot she's got two big aoe's on quite low cooldowns so i think we want to go for this and then just get her accuracy up um so that we can go use her abilities all the time get this go up sniper extend the duration of any debuff is nice uh I don't actually think she needs that because all of her, I mean, it will help her A1 weaken. So we'll take it. And we want. Yeah, that's fine. And then just this. 
what do you want in here? Yeah, we'll go for this because if I do turn damage, she can cycle up. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll come back. I'm going to build her up. I'm going to show you why the piece is on. And we'll come back to you then and we'll try her in some places. So welcome back. We've just done a build. I thought I'd go for Savage because it's going to maximize with her mastery for Helm Smasher. Um, and just a couple of other pieces. Remember stats before. Debts. Uh, we have managed to get her to 33.8k, so it's probably not close enough. Um, a HP percent chest would be better, but this is okay for testing. Her attacks are only 3.5. Again, I've gone for like medium level gear rather than full on my best game gear. Um, speed is 204, 100% crit rate, 234% crit damage, and 285% accuracy. So uh, you could probably get that higher if you wanted to. You know, like make this an actual set, for example. Um, but I thought, like, as you can see, this is not perfect endgame gear by any means. And we've got some interesting rolls on it. But I wanted to try an attack percent chest, and I wanted to see, you know, this is the kind of level gear most of you will have to start with. Um, and then I thought we'd try her out in Dragon because it seems like the fairest dungeon to do it. So what I'm going to do is try and build like a, a much more relaxed team so that you can see her besides my normal team. Um, so when you're going to pair her with people, you want to pair her with people that benefit her. So it's going to be to do with Hexes. You have Thea, the Team Angel. She's a great one to go with. Um, I'm going to use Rule this just because he he puts down hexes he gains his abilities the two of them will trigger off each other so these are going to be the only two big rares we're going to use in the team um who else do we have? i don't remember who i've got built you see because i don't tend to keep everyone built we'll put him in the lead can't really go wrong. Oh, we could use her as our like clean up, protect people, and then we kind of just need a poisoner, so we can just go with the same team. So, you know, we've got healer reviver, we've got um tank with defense down AOE, we've got poisoner, and then just these to clear waves. So uh, we're gonna try on stage twenty one just because it's force affinity, which means she will be the strong affinity, and so we'll rule means that they don't get weak hits and that they don't get targeted by the attacks so hopefully the attack should land on our two triggers here we probably have to use a different poisoner to be fair because obviously we're not going to get poisons to land on this um do i have a different poisoner we could stick xavier in i know she's a She's a legendary, but it could be anyone that you had, right? Wouldn't have to particularly be legendary. You could do it with like a um a brawler, etc. So as you can see here, between the two of them, she goes first. Uh, he puts up his hex. They've all got hex. They've all got fear on them. Okay, and then next time she comes around, this is just on auto puts lock active skills down on them so all of them are just going to a1 um they all went pretty much already dead anyway they will go through i love the fact that if you combine her with another champion say you like you've just got your defense down champion um in this case tyrell doesn't do aoe defense down on weak and he just does defense down she can put defense down on the uh, weaken down on the boss to increase your damage, which is a pretty awesome ability. And then we just cycle back around. We're going to take some damage. She counterattacks. Hopefully, we don't lose everyone. Get them locked down now. Are. But you can see what they're doing. Like then they've got so much. They've got two lots of um X on them.
heal them up a bit. But in theory, if you can get your um, poisoner through to the boss, that'll be all you need to be able to win this particular fight. If you're lucky, she'll get thingy out before. Not gonna. Now we're in the boss. I like the Nev on the revive. You see, we got weaken on that, and we got hex, so we're doing way more damage. And um, one of the fun things that you can add to is you can add in um, Thea the Tomb Angel if you've managed to get through to hard, and then you've got like a really insane nuke where you can put double hex up. You can trigger it so that Rule puts his hex up, she does her nuke, and then um, Clear Patrick's uses her hex and she does her nuke so that you've got a continuous nuke strat going around. Uh, I'm impressed with like her utility. We have I haven't yet been able to check out her pure damage numbers. Um, I love what she does with the fact that she can bail herself, that she can put increased accuracy up. She's got an increased crit rate, so you don't have to build her like a full hundred percent crit rate. But she's a little bit more forgiving than you might expect. Um, the counter attack all the time is nice. We'll see what damage she does here. Maybe we'll try her out in Arena. Fortunately, we're in Gold 4, so it's not as, easy, as bad as you'd like. But here you go, like 1.5 million. And she's set, like built fairly averagely, and she's doing the second amount highest of damage here. That's not too bad. Let's we'll see what she does in Arena, shall we? So, um, trying to get an Arena fight where we actually get a decent level of enemy. It's just not something that's happening in this level. <laughs> Go there. So this puts up all of my enemies. Uh, no. So this is one that puts up Hex. So put increased accuracy, place Hex on everyone. This is the one that does increase crit rate and block active skills. So it's doing like 50,000 damage. 80,000 damage across all of them there. Pretty tasty. What is guys? People like. Again, you may well be just a gold force. It's hilariously fun. Um, on, shall we try this one? Bang. So she hits pretty hard. You know. Quite good. As for what can go on there. She works really nice. Um, but yeah. That's just I thought I'd go through with the, the. Um, So. If you've got any questions. Leave in the comments below. Um, I think if you want to build her. She's definitely worth it. Is she worth the books? I mean quite possibly I would say. If you like. She makes a pretty good nuka. Um, you know, you don't need the books for her to be good, though. So if you don't want to do these hexes and you just want to use it as a plain nuka, she doesn't need any books, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this particular episode. Uh, reach out again if you have any questions. I'll see you like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.